so this is interesting guys, it's brilliant to see so many faces that I don't know, we don't know. But like we're telling you, Tawn, this is my lovely sister Sorica. I grew up listening to her telling me stories, and now I get to tell stories with her, which is nice. Now, this bull was an enormous beast. Ten men could play hurling on his back. <laughs> Until the sun began to dip down towards that twilight period, when it's neither day nor night nor one or the other, and shadows began to creep out like long arms towards the army then. It's nice for a woman to be married to a wealthy man, and Maeve said, well, yeah, but I was... I think I'm a little bit wealthier than you, being Queen of Connacht and all of that. <laughs> that man's head and the ten other men that were with him were taken out of their bodies by Cú Cullen and stuck into the tree that they were trying to cut down. One another, thrusting at one another with the sharp ends of their spears, using the crossbar to block. And all day long they struggled and they fought together. They inflicted terrible wounds on one another, large enough that the birds of the air could fly straight through them and out the other side. Hear them chopping heads off as he went by, leaping and jumping and howling and blasting and killing all men. I'd never seen such violence coming towards them. They ran, but he mowed them down. An anger in his heart. Cucullan, he said all was play, all was sport until Ferdia came to the fore.